All right, lab six review, part B, part B. So I've done step one, I've done step two. Now we're gonna look at steps three and four. Step three says, put the listline.gif under each list. And I can see here that each section has a list, a bulleted list. So I wanna get this with, with some space it looks like underneath each list. Um, let's go to the code. And just as a reminder, this is where we ended. This is where we started, right? With this just straight HTML that I coded for you. And this is where we ended. Here we are. Let's get that list line dot gif. I'll start with the selector of li. And add that background image. That's going to be the list line dot gif. And we do not want it to repeat. So I'm going to skip a space and type no repeat. And actually, as I look at where is it? This. I can see that it's going to be at the center and on the bottom. So I'm going to add those two right now as well. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Here I am. No repeat. Space. Center. Space. Bottom. Save and refresh. Whew. That's not it. Let's just jump back. I think I hadn't There it is. Hmm. This line not in there. Li. Background image. Oh, background image. There's my mistake. I'm using multiple things here, right? Multiple things. So the tag is background, not background image. Save and refresh. There we go, but look. My image is there now, but first of all, it's on each of these bulleted items. That's not what I wanted. So I was fooled by the name, which said listline.gif. What I wanted is, is just one on each list. So I'll change that, oops, I'll change that selector to UL. Save and refresh. Looks great, but it's in the way, right? It's crossing out some text, so let's give it a little padding bottom. Don't you think? P-A-D-D-I-N-G hyphen. Could have done this. And I'm going to say, let's take a peek at the image, see how tall it is. It is 10 pixels tall. So I'll give it a padding bottom. How about 20? Save and refresh. There it is. That looks nice. Now, step four says let's take, remove the bullets from the lists. We've never done that before. You can see it's been done here. And it says you'll find the, uh, this in list properties of CSS. So let's just go to W3Schools. I want you to get used to looking this up. W3Schools. W3 schools. Let's just go straight to learn CSS. Yeah, that's better. So I could go through all this and find lists, or I could go to this search button up here and type CSS lists. A couple of ways to find things on this site. Usually when you get this up here, you have to double check these links. We want the one that is W3 schools. See all those ads? Annoying, isn't it? Annoying. Okay, let's look at this. All right, so we know about unordered lists. We know about ordered lists. These are the things we know, but here is something, list style type. And you can see this is a class because there's a dot in it, but this gives us circle, square, upper Roman, lower alpha. Hmm, we need something more. No, we don't want to put an image there yet. 
but what we do want, oh my gosh, I can't find it. Ah, remove default settings. The list style type none can be used to remove bullets. So look, huh, why type? I'm just going to copy that. Come over to my code and add this to the UL. Save and where are we? Right here. Yes. Refresh and the bullets are gone. Quick and easy, right?